everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I am hiding in my bedroom right now so I don't get caught. So I know that like this is kind of plain and the lighting's a little off and I apologize for that. But today's video is what's inside my daughter's Easter basket. So I kind of had to be a little more stealthy with my video location. This video is a collaboration with Ingrid from Mommy and Mia Homeschool Chronicles. And make sure you check that description box down below because there will be a link for a playlist of other people's um, videos joining us and showing what's inside their Easter basket. We wanted to try to give you some ideas for not just candy and junk, but some more fun, educational, um, useful things in an Easter basket. So that's what we're gonna try to do for you today. Now, normally bathing suits and sandals are a must in Easter baskets for us. We've always done it since she was a baby. It's something that happens every year because we need it for the upcoming months. However, it has been warmer than usual, or at least it's been super warm the past month. And because she had already outgrown last year's, we previously, like just recently in the last month, went ahead and bought her a bathing suit and flip-flops for the spring and the summer because she couldn't really wait until Easter. So that is not needed. So instead of buying her something she doesn't need, me and my husband talked about it and we decided we were going to do a nature-themed Easter basket because we like to spend a ton of time outside through spring and summer. And so this way we would have lots of new fun things to do together as a family. So I'm gonna turn you around now and show you what is inside my daughter's Easter basket. So the first thing I have in her Easter basket are these Go Find It games. So we have Go Find It and Go Find It 2. And they are a game that uses your senses to explore nature. So it's fun for all ages. There's three different ways to play and it's different every time. So you can see some of the examples here like red, furry, and stripes. And then some of the examples on this one are colorful, squidgy, and delicate. So you're kind of using all these different cards that are in this bag to go on a scavenger hunt in nature. I'm really excited about those. We also, for scavenger hunts, I picked up this Target scavenger hunt bag. It is just a felt bag that has this printed on the front. So we'll be using that for scavenger hunts as well. And then also at Target, I grabbed these Outdoor Adventure Boredom Busters. So they have things like look for shapes in the clouds um, and go look for bugs. And I think there was one that was like create a image with, um, you know, with rocks and stuff like that. So they're just activities to do when you're outdoors. We also got her this Carson Microbrite. LED pocket microscope. I've heard really good things about it um, from a couple other Instagrammers and YouTubers. And so I grabbed one because they were at a really good price and I couldn't beat it. We also got her a mini binoculars. Um, they are, I'm not even sure. I got rid of the box already. I'll make sure I leave the link down below because I'm not even sure what the actual brand is for these but after doing a lot of research it was ones that had some of the highest reviews we also got her some of the sun print nature print paper and so it's the kind of paper that you lay it down and you put your nature items on top and once you leave it in the sun it changes so you have like um blue paper with like white you know, things of whatever you laid on it. So it makes a chemical change. I thought that would be really fun for some of our nature finds. We also got her the Usborne Nature Journal. And if you have not seen inside this, I'm going to show you inside it because I thought it would just be another journal, but it is so gorgeous that I'm going to be getting myself one. So this is actually just a piece of paper. So that is what the front of the journal actually would look like when you take that off. And then inside, it has some, some line pages, some dot pages, but it has these beautiful watercolor illustrations throughout. And they're not just illustrations, they're actually informative. So like those tell you some different trees. Here you can see the bird, a couple of different birds. Here you see some mushrooms and underground. Again, some leaf prints. anatomy of a flower. So I just thought it was really cool when I opened it because it has, you know, here you have some actual animal tracks and there's actually, you know, there's information within it as you're journaling. So you're learning 
while you're nature journaling, which I thought was pretty, pretty cool. We also grabbed her these two Usborne books, The Bug Hotel and The Bird House, because I figured we would be doing a lot of bug and bird finding. And they are Lift the Flap. So you have like the bee and each one of these little things has something inside it about a bee. <clears throat> and you have the butterfly and the life cycle. And again, like I said, all of these little things have lift the flaps, the beetle, the snail, the spider, the ladybug. And then the birdhouse, <clears throat> you have ducks. And again, like I said, these all have all the little lift the flaps with information under them. Then you have pigeons and doves. You have all different kinds of woodpeckers. Swallows and birdhouses. I mean, it talks about bird baths and some of the different kinds of nests. And then owls and all of the birds and bird houses. So I thought both of those would be really fun additions. We also got the Usborne Outdoor Book, Inspiring Ideas for Discovering and Exploring Outdoors. And what I really liked most about this is that it wasn't just by season, which I find a lot of these are, which makes it difficult when you live in Florida because we don't technically have seasons. I mean, there's seasons, but our seasons don't really change a lot. But instead of by seasons, it was by kind of the area that you're in. So you have exploring ponds, rivers, and seas, discovering wildlife, investigating woods, into the wild, out in all weather, and night explorers. And then there's quick links as well. So you have some ideas like, um, let's see, here's one of the pages. So you've got on the seashore and it you know teaches you how to go crabbing but it also tells you information about it so that while you're at the seashore you're learning as well dipping and damming so it teaches you how to go dipping uh, let's see one of the ones in the woods you've got a tree detective so you've got all the information about the trees so you can go be a tree detective and then here's one wild art you can make some art out in the wild Finding your way using North Frisier Sun and all that. And then you've got cloud spotting. So I like that it gave you ideas of things to do and gave you the information that you needed too. So you could just take this one book with you if you wanted. I thought that was pretty cool. Then for an activity book, we got her the Usborne Little Children Nature Activity Book. So again, while it is an activity book, it's teaching at the same time. So she gets to match and doodle and color but she's learning tons about nature while she's doing it. And there's stickers, quite a few stickers in here as well. And I also got her an Alex flower press. So yes, I know there's probably some um, better flower presses out there, but I like that this one came with paint and everything so she can make it her own. So she'll be able to decorate her flower press however she wants. And then the very last thing we got for her was one of the Kinder Joy. Um, she doesn't really need any more chocolate, but we thought we'd get her something sweet. So this has like the chocolate on one side and then the surprise toy on the other. So she will have a Kinder Joy in her basket as well. <laughs> 